So I've opened the Level Logger software on our tablet. It looks like this. I've connected our reading cable. We have an adapter, but this is probably what the end of yours looks like. You fit the pieces together, screw the top all the way on, Now this is connected. To tell the software that something is connected, you're under the data logger settings tab and you click retrieve data logger settings. Also notice that my COM port is selected as our field reader, so make sure whatever reader you're using, you can select options from here and it should automatically recognize it. This is the logger. You can check by looking at the serial number on the side of the logger and matching it to what the software thinks it is. Serial number. It's currently started. We're going to stop it. Stop now. Then we're going to go to the data control tab. Once, there we go. Now it's stopped. Data control tablet is hard to select stuff on. Data control tab. There's a green arrow. We download all data. So the data has come up. You can view it, make sure that it all looks good. Um, the green is conductivity, the blue is level, the red is temperature, there's a graph, and then there's also all of the raw data. You can scroll through it if you want. When you're ready to download it, there are two ways that you should download it. One in the level logger software format, and one is a CSV. I don't remember which one of these is which, but it's both of these buttons under data control. So there's one that looks like a floppy disk for save. You hit that one. This is the XLE file, which is the level logger file. Then I'm gonna type the name in here, sorry. Um, you type the name of your file. We save them as the name and then the date. 2022-03-22. What's, oh, thank you, 03 the date range. So this was deployed on the 22nd and then we're picking it up and downloading it on April 6th. April 6th. Then we hit save. Then you also wanna export it as a CSV, which is the furthest icon on the right. You wanna do the data, not the graph. Save it as the same name, but delete the file ending. It. Then when you're ready to start it again, go back to data logger settings. You synchronize the time to the computer that you're using. And then you hit future start and select the time that you want it to be started. For what time I'd like to start it, which is at the top of the hour. We're doing six minute intervals and I'm gonna hit future start. It'll give you some warnings. All the data and the logger will be erased. That's fine because we just saved it all. I've also checked the battery. It's at 100%, so it's good to be deployed. Now it is set. The status of the logger is future start today at 8 a.m. and it's synchronized to the time. So we're good. You can just unplug it. You don't have to eject it or anything. And then you're ready to deploy it again.